कॉन्टेंट्स ऑफ कॉर्पोरेट गवर्नेंस कोड इन अदर वर्ड्स कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट वेलकम आई एम डॉक्टर संधू फ्रॉम बिजनेस मैनेजमेंट एंड रिसर्च चैनल दिस इज ओवर टूडेज टॉपिक कॉर्पोरेट गवर्नेंस रिक्वायर्स एस्टैब्लिशिंग ए कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट A corporate governance code usually determines visions, plans, directions, and necessary practices. So these are the contents. We will start from strategies, vision, administration, organizational structure, leadership, employee task, business policy documents, communication and information, transparency, corporate ethics, and accountability. so first one is strategies and policies there are two points and we will understand these two points in detail the concerns policies plans and strategies may be included in corporate governance codes they provide basic guidelines and parameters for managerial and organizational functions vision and mission achieve the vision and missions regarding goal orientation and future paths these are the aspirations for better managerial goals the corporate governance codes vision and mission guide all relevant directions administration there are three points it may include the role and behavior of management including their guiding motivating and leading roles the board's constitution role of non executive directors meetings and other key matters may be included organizational structure it may include activities skills decision making and mutual relations it defines work determination rights and duties responsiveness delegation of authority control span and work performance all these comes under organizational structure leadership leadership is defined as the ability to inspire and motivate others to achieve goals these practices not only guide managers actions but also protect the interest of the organization's partners it is very important to safeguard interest of the partners and partners can be shareholders customers suppliers and many other actors employee task employee perform various tasks for example the code may include task specific standards and targets for improving corporate governance business policy documents the code for corporate governance must include the business policy documents for example policies business rules and procedures may be included in these documents communication and information a fair and effective communication system is required in the organization the code of conduct may include the required methods means and media of communication allowing for the proper transfer of facts and information to various parties transparency the standards and parameters for good transparency may be included in other words must be included especially in timely disclosure with accurate and factual information so there are three points standards and parameters 
in timely disclosure of information and to make sure that information is accurate corporate ethics in order to create and develop the most efficient and holistic management in the organization certain norms and behavioral attitudes may be involved as we know that organizations are enriched with human resource so there is a need to apply code of ethics equally for men and women for peaceful and steady flow of production and other items number 11 accountability within the administrative board the level and composition of accountability is also an important component of good governance we are talking about good governance and accountability it also defines how rights and responsibilities are shared among members of an organization any organization without accountability is not crystal clear and trust of the shareholders or stakeholders will be lesser on those organizations which don't have good accountability practices in other words or in other means we can say that good governance is based on accountability and transparency here comes the conclusion whether or not your company is required by law to have a code of conduct as public companies are every company should have one so every company must be having a code of conduct so as to operate organization in a sustainable manner a code serves as an internal guideline as well as external declaration of company's values and commitment and if a company will follow these guidelines definitely trust of the shareholder will increase and they will go for longer term investment in the company thank you very much keep watching videos on corporate governance and do not forget to like subscribe and share best of luck